Remember the video I made about how to use your skincare products correctly? Well, here's part two of that video, just like I promised. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can join our community. Welcome back to part two. As you can see, my skin is going through it, which in the previous video, I talked about why this happened. So if you want to avoid this from happening to you as well, I suggest you watch the video that I linked down in the description. But yeah, I have not experienced this type of breakout since I was a teenager. And that was a long time ago. So anyway, uh, I've already washed my face. I didn't wash with a cleanser because, well, I don't wash with a cleanser in the morning. Um, but I'm going to skip through a few steps because I have already talked about them in the part one video so i'm just gonna do them real quick and then jump into the steps that i haven't talked about so next step that i didn't talk about in my last video is eye cream normally like i said i'm not a big fan of eye cream but in the morning i like to use caffeine to wake me up so when you want to use eye cream you need to keep in mind that you shouldn't tug at your skin you need to tap it into your skin in order to avoid any premature wrinkles underneath your eyes. Don't put it near your actual eyes, a little bit down. As you can see in this area, not this area, this area. Remember, whatever you put on your under eyes, you also need to put on your lids. Again, a tapping motion. I'm not tugging, just tapping it in until it gets completely absorbed. Bella also decided to join the video. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what she's looking for. Anyway, did my toner. Did my serum, which I didn't show because I talked about it in the previous video. Did my eye cream. Next, moisturizer. Now, when you want to use moisturizer, remember that whatever product that you're using that is supposed to be hydrating to your skin, you need to have damp skin because the ingredients in these products like hyaluronic acid, they need to have a wet environment so to speak to cling on to water and absorb it into your skin if they don't have that type of environment they will pull water from your skin leaving your skin more dehydrated rather than hydrated so before we put on moisturizer we are going to dampen our skin and then take your moisturizer as much as you want and then I'm going to rub it between my hands to warm it up a little bit. This is going to help it absorb better into my skin and all over. You're putting this on your neck. Try to go in a upper motion to again prevent premature wrinkle from warming and the final and most important step of your entire routine is sunscreen now I'm not going out today because I don't feel like socializing with humanity today so I'm gonna stay inside and not wear sunscreen because well I'm inside but I'm going to talk about it anyway so when it comes to sunscreen, the most important thing that you need to remember is using enough of it. The recommended amount of sunscreen that each person needs to use, at least in their first use, is a quarter of a teaspoon or four, sorry, three finger lengths 
for your entire face and neck and decolletage. So make sure that you are wearing enough sunscreen. And when it comes to reapplying your sunscreen, again, you can use your lotion that you were using, or if you don't want to use your hands, if your hands are dirty and you weren't able to clean them up, you can use a sun stick, which completely eliminates your hands from touching your skin, or if you have makeup on and you want to reapply your sunscreen but don't want to mess up your makeup, I suggest taking a beauty sponge and then gently tapping your sunscreen into your skin. So most important things about sunscreen is one, the amount that you are using and two, reapplying it every two to three hours depending on the amount of sun exposure that you're are experiencing in that day but at least you need to be reapplying your sunscreen every three hours at the latest please do not use sprays or powders because i've talked about this before they have nanoparticles that are not exactly very healthy for your lungs so try to avoid that as much as possible and if you do have a spray or a powder i suggest using it on your scalp wherever that your hair parts because your scalp is still a part of your skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video.